Former President Donald Trump, the presumptive 2024 Republican nominee, is now convicted of 34 felony counts, a first in U.S. history. This morning, there is a wave of reaction since the jury found Mr. Trump guilty in the hush money scheme to hide an alleged affair with an adult film star to influence the 2016 election. NBC's Bree Jackson has more. Former President Donald Trump found guilty of all 34 counts of falsifying business records, marking the first time a former president has been convicted of a crime. This was a rigged, disgraceful trial. Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg brought the criminal charges against Trump. I did my job. Our job is to follow the facts and the law without fear or favor. Former Trump attorney Michael Cohen was a key witness in this trial. He testified that Trump knowingly made payments to adult film star Stormy Daniels in an effort to cover up an alleged fair before the 2016 election. It's accountability. It's exactly what America needs right now. Republicans are rallying around their presumptive GOP nominee. I can't believe the hoax, the sham, this absolute injustice, justice system. In a statement, the Biden campaign said it respected the rule of law. Both presidential candidates are using Trump's legal battles to gain support. Americans are divided over the former president's conviction. I think that if we have a president that could possibly be a felon, I don't think that's good for the country. I'm not sure that it might, might sway it a little bit for Trump because of us seeing how unfair that was to him. Voters will have their say in November. In Washington, Bree Jackson, NBC News.